father-in-law who was very interested in the hardware business, though he himself was only in the furniture business, said, well, why don't you start a hardware store? Because they mail is Harry's brother, Harry's uncle. He and I started the business in a store that was roughly 300 square feet. Harry's father was, was, Mo, was Moses Cates. And uh, Mo was a very practical guy, and he looked down on Mass Avenue. He said, "There's a lot of apartments here, and they need fixing up." Oh, his, first his cash, cash register. register was this old cigar box, a plaster of Paris, and he made. Plaster of Paris had a lip on it, so you could slide the money out. Yeah. And our exactly. first day's receipts was thirteen dollars and forty-eight cents. Never forgot. Well, we had a uh, young fellow working for us. He um, saw a woman take a product. Well, she put it under her skirt. It's a toaster oven. You know, and she started to wobble, wobble or waddle out of the store, and Terry walked over, picked up the back of her skirt, and gave her a slap on the butt. And he did not bat an eye. I came into the business in 1979. 1979. I graduated college. Our, our store had just moved 351 Mass Ave, 219 Mass Ave, where the Boston store is today. Still. And here at 438 Mass Ave in Cambridge was our family, my mother's family business of Cambridge Furniture, which was started in 1898. And the space became available in 1990, so we thought it would be a good location to uh, expand. And uh, our Brookline store came on in 1997, I think. It used mm -hmm. to be, it was a true value store. Well, we gave him the foundation. He gave me the foundation. And he, he, he did the building. The Larry the building has, the has a great eye. Good taste. My mother. <laughs> <laughs> I met a woman in the Boston store. She wanted to buy a percolator. It's stainless steel, so it was a $50 percolator. And she's pretty old. I said, Today is Senior Citizen Day. Are you a senior citizen? She, said, she goes, I'm 94 years old. She goes, I come from Franklin. I live in Dorchester. I live near Franklin Park. I take the orange line. I was astounded. Someone traveled that old, traveled that far on public transportation and it's a to buy it's a percolator at Economy Hour right. because she's been a customer for many, many, mm -hmm. many well, years. The success of any business, be it this store or any other store, is the personal touch.